This weather is unfortunate. Those villagers were right when they said a storm was brewing. But they were more afraid of an attack than they were of the storm. Let's end this quickly. The thieves have taken Conan Tower as their base. There it is in the distance. Niklon must be more skilled than your average thief to have overtaken a place like that. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago, when invasions from the north were at their peak. This tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You know your history, Gilbert. If I recall correctly, you're from the kingdom, aren't you? I left my home long ago. If you have any questions about the mission, I'd be happy to answer them. House Gautier has always placed great importance on whether or not someone bears a crest. Margrave Gautier has two sons. A crest never manifested for his eldest. It's not hard to imagine why he left and wound up in this sort of life. There's no reason that crests should have the power to dictate someone's destiny. Don't you agree, Gilbert? He was just another victim of cruel fate. Forsaken by the goddess, who now demands his execution. The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. Stay focused. Sure thing. Yep. Let me at it.
Captain's in trouble. Hurry up, you fools! Enemies approach from the lower floors. Watch the rear flank. Doubted you. Here we go. Attack them from both sides. It's an ambush. It's over. You fought well. Let the lesson begin! Should I have held back? Child! I'm no stranger to battle. You suck! I cannot lose. Too shabby. Yeah. That 
bad is that? Each battle, a chance to grow. <laughs> As expected. Jump. Let's put I 
Magic Grind. My left. Right makes might, right? Ah! Out of my way. You think you can take the lance from me, huh? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you! Adorable. Let's dance. <laughs> Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. Fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. Such is the fate of one whose life is corrupted by a crest stone. How pitiable. The least we can do is put an end to his suffering.
Goddess. The beast is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It is done. Let's retrieve the Lance and depart at once. changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Upon that sight, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The Church will formally return the Lance to House Gautier, if you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. I assume the Archbishop was pleased with your performance. Did you return the Lance of Ruin? I keep thinking about what Gilbert told us. Yes, Miklon was discarded by his family because he was born without a crest. Eventually, he became a masterful thief, and gathered enough ruffians to capture a fortress. Right or wrong, he was a gifted leader. He could have been a great asset to Fodlan. What a waste! It's true that a crest can increase your magical abilities and allow you to wield the full might of a hero's relic. But one cannot measure a leader's worth based solely on whether or not they bear a crest. There are plenty of talented people in this world without one. People believe crests are blessings from the goddess, that they're necessary to maintain order in Fodlin. But the people are wrong. Crests are to blame for this brutal, irrational world we live in. Their power is granted only to a select few, whom we elevate and allow to rule the world. Have you ever wondered if the only way to create a truly free world is to dispense with the goddess and the crests? Do that? and people will have no choice but to rise and fall by their own merits. Lady Edelgard, I question whether you revealed too much to the Professor. Perhaps I did. It is true that our teacher possesses a rare talent. Even I cannot deny it. The ability to wield the sword of the Creator is concerning. I've already explained this to you. My power alone is insufficient. That's why I'm borrowing power from those people. If our teacher can wield it in my stead, I believe that would be for the best. It's a risk. A dangerous one. You leave me no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Please excuse me. <sighs> I can't hide from the truth. 
I can't do all that I must on my own. If all I can rely on is my own ambition, my path won't be easy. Is it so risky to reach out my hand? Father, I swear I will not stop until I succeed. My regret, my grief, my whole life, I've thrown it all away into the darkness. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. <laughs>